ChatGPT is by far one of the world's most popular AI tools at the moment. However, there are a lot of alternatives around. My name is Yudullah, you are watching Candidot Technology and in this video we are talking about the top 5 ChatGPT alternatives that you should definitely try out. So as I said, ChatGPT has a lot of alternatives these days, but the first alternative is actually ChatGPT itself. ChatGPT4 uh, or rather GPT40 is already out. So if you ask ChatGPT a question like, how do I overcome procrastination? And let's wait for an answer to show up. Now, what the model that's answering this question is actually GPT 4.0 or GPT 4.0 because that's the default model currently running on ChatGPT. So uh, let me just wait until this completes its answer and then we'll be able to see how to switch the model. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, ChatGPT uh, is currently using GPT 4.0 or the smart and the fast model compared to GPT 3.5, which is the default. You can switch between the two, but uh, GPT 4.0 is currently the better one. So the first chat GPT alternative on our list is uh, Google's Gemini. This is a custom model created by Google and uh, it specializes or sort of specializes in giving you the most up-to-date information possible courtesy of Google. So if I were to ask it the same question, how do I overcome procrastination? The answer that it will give me will be more up to date than chat gpt for example uh, it also generates an answer really really quickly so as you can see i have an uh, entire answer here with the planning and organization focus and motivation parts mindset and self-awareness whatever whatever and then you, it gives you additional resources like websites and books to read and one very good thing about gemini is that you can cross check uh, responses double check responses by just pressing this google button so what this does is that it runs a Google query for whatever uh, your question was. So let's say this was how do I overcome procrastination. It will just search that on Google and bring up all the answers so that I can go and cross check across. Uh, another thing that you can do with Gemini since it's a multimodal, uh, multimodal AI model, you can upload images to get an answer. You can talk to it using your microphone or you can use it to generate images. So generate an image of a red sports car at a gas station and uh, it doesn't do the best job uh, of all ai image generators uh, but it still does a pretty decent job for a quick and free image uh, if you need it for reference or anything of the sort so and it's also really really quick so as you can see i have uh, four variants the standard of uh, every ai image generator and i like this one the best uh, it fumbles a little when it comes to text. As you can see, it's this car is a weird cross between Maserati and Ferrari for, from what it seems. But uh, for a quick reference, this is actually pretty good. You can generate more images. You can download these images. And uh, if you want to pony up for the subscription, you can also try Gemini Advanced, which is uh, similar to GPT+. Plus is a subscription tier that gives you way more power so the model works faster, gets more detailed and gets more accurate as you go along. Another really great chat GPT alternative is Microsoft Copilot. One of the best things about it is that it does not require you to log in. You can just head over to the Copilot website and start using it for free. Now, Copilot is touted to be the most uh, or uh, rather the more creative AI uh, chatbot when it comes to the competition. So you can choose a conversation style before you even start a conversation. You can ask it to be more creative, balanced or more precise if you're finding facts or doing something in the sounds. So uh, let's go ahead with the more creative one and uh, give it from procrastination. Give it a question mark and it will spit out an answer for you one thing to keep in mind just like uh, all of the other chatbots on this list bing chat or copilot whatever you want to call it is also available in a free and a paid tier now the free tier uh, gives you access to gpt4 but it's limited in the sense that you will have to wait longer for your responses and you'll have to wait even longer during peak hours 
uh, Copilot Plus gives you sort of access to uh, priority access actually to the chatbot during peak hours. It integrates this AI into Office, but other than that, it doesn't really do all of uh, it doesn't really do a lot extra. So uh, now we have an answer with the uh, sources given down below. You can copy it, export it. There are some follow up questions. So the general thing that you see uh, once again, another copilot uh, co specific advantage that you get is access to other copilot GPTs, uh, as you can see in this window up here. So we have copilot, we have designer, we have vacation planner, we have a cooking assistant and we have a fitness trainer. Uh, designer is essentially what uh, makes or generates images so you can just uh, uh, generate an image straight from the chat box so generate an image of a red sports car at a gas station press enter and give it a minute once again it's not the most precise or the best image generation AI available, but it does work pretty well. And it is really quick for a free chatbot. Uh, you're going to have to sign in to uh, watch your generated images. So that's a little bit of a limitation that it comes with. So let me just sign in and show you the results. All right, so now that we've signed in, let's go ahead and run our prompt again. So generate a red sports, generate an image of a red sports car at a gas station press enter give it a few seconds and it should spit out the image for you so as you can see even before the image generation uh, has finished we have some follow-up uh, the image generation here is powered by Dal uh, dali 3 and it's actually not bad if you can get it the right prompt so as you can see in this image hopefully it opens up and yeah now you can uh, change uh, its design you can make it low poly uh, give it uh, some filters reimagine the image in a different style and you have boosts which uh, essentially make the chatbot run faster and be more accurate next up on the list is perplexity now perplexity specializes in giving you the more most accurate information possible so it's very very good for research if you're writing an academic paper if you're researching something perplexity is where you should be at if i were to ask it the same question of how do i overcome procrastination and we're off to the races so it mentions its sources beforehand it has pulled data from five sources it's really quick uh, when it comes to answering queries and as you can see you can rewrite your answers based on how you want so if you don't like the way this is phrased or if you don't like the information in here you can always just tell it to run the query again and we rewrite uh, with probably the same on sometimes different sources all of your sources are listed above and uh, then you can uh, either choose from any of these related questions or you can ask it a follow-up you can also attach uh, images text files pdfs but there's a limit on the free plan so you only get three and then you get to use pro search for free as well it gives you five searches and reloads every four hours so uh, if i enable this and if i ask it the same question now so how do i overcome pro procrastination what perplexity will now try to do is understand my question so as you can see it's asking me a follow-up what specific aspects of procrastination would you like to focus on let's say i would like to focus on the causes and i can enter any other aspects i want as well i click send it reads the response searches the web and then comes back with you with far more accurate and precise knowledge uh, or information as it might seem and so using perplexity in such cases helps you get exact accurate answers you don't have to go fishing for queries and make sure you get the right prompt before you get an answer perplexity helps you out now perplexity pro also lets you generate images but that's not a feature available in the free part you can search videos you can search images pdfs code files and anything of the sort 
so if you're researching and if you want uh, if you're researching if you're studying if you want something for academic purposes perplexity ai is the way to go another perplexity ai feature is the discover tab so in the discover tab you can see popular uh, queries or popular news uh, going on around the internet so for example nvidia stock tops thousand dollars a share if i click this link this is already a prompt that someone has run with different steps so you get sources you get the answer it's basically a really quick way of looking up news or anything that's new going on around the world new or trending and ask it follow-ups about it so you don't have to start researching and then read somewhere you can just start with a lot of information about whatever it is that you're looking for other than that you can just go back home uh, you can set a focus for your sources which is uh, a really really good thing if you're looking to search from specific websites so if i click the focus button i can have it search the entire internet i can have it search uh, information published in academic papers i can have it search youtube reddit wolfram alpha or just generate text or chat without searching the web at all so it's just purely writing based Next up, we've got cloud. Uh, now, one thing that I don't like about cloud is that to even use it, you need a account and you need to verify your phone number. However, once you're done, uh, cloud is actually one of the most human chatbots that you will talk to. So it requires your name. So I'm going to give it my name. You can call me Yadullah. Yes, send it. And now it acknowledges and continue the privacy policy sounds good so it gives you a really good disclaimer tells you everything uh, up front and then it lets you interact with the chatbot so i'm just going to give it a second and uh, we're off to the races so you can upload documents or images to cloud once again multi multi-modal uh, ai model so it can work with this now there are some daily usage limits in here so if you were to let's say start ask it the same question for starters so how to overcome procrastination question mark there we go and as you can see we have our answer it's uh, very detailed and uh, rather very quick also but uh, it's pretty similar to chat gpt 3.5 or gpt 3.5 now the reason behind that is that cloud 3 comes with their mid-tier sonnet model and the cloud pro cloud pro subscription comes with cloud 3 opus which is roughly equivalent to gpt 4 or uh, your google gemini pro models so that is the better one other than that cloud ai is actually quite simple to use there are no image generation capabilities at the moment so it's basically just a chatbot where you talk to it maybe give it some files to analyze and uh, you know just hang out it's uh, clouds uh, as i said before it's clouds human interaction that makes it so fun to use in the sense that you can talk to it in a really human manner so if i were to ask it another question as in who am i speaking with press enter gives a whole thing uh, gives a whole answer the general answer that you expect from ai assistance for questions like these uh, you can copy you can re uh, retry the query so you, it gives you a different answer if you don't like what you got and other than that you can give the chatbot some feedback so positive or negative whether or not it answered your query properly and then over time it kind of tunes itself to the way you ask it questions Last but not least, we have Grok. Now, Grok is a very basic generative AI chatbot based on Llama 3, which also powers Perplexity and Meta AI. So, uh, and you can change your model from uh, the top down menu as well. So, you can have two versions of the Llama 3 model, you can have the Mixtral model or the Gemma model. We're just going to leave it uh, with Llama 3 at the moment and give it the same query to see how it forms. procrastination and as you can see it has spitted out an answer for us and uh, that's basically it if you want really quick answers to something 
that's crocs thing it's uh, the answers may not be the highest quality the answers may not be the most up to date or the answers might not even be correct in some cases but you will get them fast so uh, there are a few options here you can copy the content you can scroll to the top of your chat or you can have filters now these filters basically tell grok how to present you the answer so you can have it in bullet points expanded or in sentences uh, or rather written as prose and then you get control over tone so professional educator friendly and neutral neutral is just kind of the default grok voice that there is when it comes to writing uh, or rather default grok tone but friendly educator and professional can be used if you're uh, creating very quick content for a specific situation and you want croc to just write it the way uh, you want and then just copy paste it to whatever requirement is there that you have so uh, for example if i switch it to friendly uh, it just runs the same conversation and as you can see uh, it's a lot more uh, interactive it's a lot more friendly in the sense of the filter and of course uh, you do get a round trip time as to how fast uh, Grok generated the response. So if you're looking for a very simple, easy to use chatbot that uh, gives you answers as quick as possible, Grok is the way to go. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.